Good morning, everyone. I've got Miss Black Velvet with me here today, and she's going to be the star of my video for the next two days. We've got lots of things going on here, and lots of horses in right now, and we've been kind of busy and doing some traveling, and finally had a chance and told myself I need to pull the phone out and make a video. So hang out with me in Black Velvet for the next couple days. I believe she would be seven this year. So she's a seven-year-old Frisian quarter horse cross. I've had her for two going on three months now. And she came to me with no saddle experience or anything. She'd been lunged and she was a sweet girl. She'd been handled and stuff. Just no riding training and the owner would like to ride her. So me and Black have been working. And tomorrow we're gonna go on our first trail ride outside arena ride. I rode her. I want to say like 15 times. Um, I like to, uh, she's been saddled pretty much every day, five days a week for up until that point. I like to, you know, the more they have the saddle thrown on the back, the better they're gonna get. So she's been saddled a lot, but I probably rode her about 15 times. And we are going to take her on her first trail ride at the Rancho Rio Wash tomorrow. So this is gonna be like a two day video. But um, to be honest, this last week, we were so busy and we had a lot going on that she didn't get worked with very much. Um, so she needs to be cleaned up a little bit and put back to work. And so I'm gonna take you guys along with me and we're gonna do that today. And then you're gonna go on the trail ride with me down the wash tomorrow and see how she does on her first ride outside of a penned area. She's been ridden in the arena, so. And she's a pretty sweet girl. I don't expect any surprises, but that's how I like to start a lot of all my horses. No, I don't want any surprises. So she's ready for this. We're taking her outside because she's ready for it. And so kind of see, maybe I can show you guys today what I kind of handle I have on her and stuff. And then what makes me comfortable to take her outside and ride her now. And, um, it's always different for every horse but this is for her and what I like and so yeah let's get her cleaned up and go along today so she's kind of a mess to be honest she's got knots in her hair and she's filthy she needs to be cleaned up so first things we're gonna clean her up but look at all the hair coming off of her so this is all from her butt gonna keep getting her cleaned up. She's got lots more hair to come off. <laughs> she came up from northern Arizona and she had a lot of hair and it's getting pretty warm down here now so she's starting to shed. Look at all the hair already on the ground from brushing her off. Okay so I've already done the other side but we'll do a before and after of this side and see how much of a difference we can tell. So, we'll do like a far away kind of look. And then up close. So she's got a lot of hair that I'm gonna take off. Oh, I need to show you guys my tool. This is it. It's called a Sleek Easy. It's, um, I think it's basically I don't know, I might be wrong, like a razor blade or something in there. And super cool, watch. Look at all that. So we're gonna do a before and after. We'll see if we can tell a difference. Um, I have a question for personal, 
personal preference, do people, other horse owners that are watching my videos, do you guys like chin hair down here and whiskers or do you trim it off? What is everyone's preference? And, you know, these kind of little feather fetlock hairs. What do you do with those? All right, let's do it before and after. I'm gonna get her all cleaned up. Okay, a lot more hair would come off if I kept going. It just keeps coming, but not in clumps anymore. So we're gonna call it good. So this is the end result of her all brushed off. Look at all that hair. Pretty cleaned up. Okay, now we gotta brush her mane out. Oh, she looks so much better now. Her mane is not all tangly. She's all brushed up. She's still as fat as can be, huh? She's a little hairy to me, so we're gonna take some scissors to her face and get her a little trimmed up, kind of clean her up a little bit. Make her look like a lady. Huh, pretty black. I forgot to do a before and after of her nose, but now it's all cleaned up. Um, everyone likes something different, but I kind of like trimming them up because you can kind of see details of their um, face and stuff like that that the hair might be covering up. So just kind of for looks reasons, but it's also a maintenance thing you got to kind of keep up on if you like it. So let's do a before and after of her chin. I did kind of cut some at the bottom already, but here, let me take this halter actually, put it on her neck, and I can show you better. That's kind of, see how just, you won't be able to tell facial features and stuff. And Okay, 
here's an after. Uh, look how pretty. So, you can just kind of see their face a little better. I think it makes her look cute. some things around and black's tied up at the moment but i thought i would introduce you guys to paco a new horse that we got um he's a little sore and he's gonna need some corrective shoeing and some extra feed um let me turn the camera on i'll show you paco so this is paco he is a 10 or 11 year old gelding He's a rope horse, but he's pretty sore right now, and he needed some corrective shoeing. He needs some groceries, too. He's kind of thin. Uh, let me show you the shoe that just got put on him. Um, so it's a square toe shoe. So this is supposed to help him. Well, um keep you updated on progress see if he gets better in the front end but he's going to go into his own pen right now he's been out on the pasture but we had some pens open up so he's going to get to go in his own pen so he can have um all the feed he wants not what everyone else wants <laughs> so we liked keeping Paco out in the pasture at first so that he could move around and kind of limber up because he had been in such a small pen that was full of muck and poop and stuff. But um, now, you know, his feet are hardened, so he's gonna go back into one of these runs, um, that one. So he'll have all the feet he wants. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit before and after. I'm gonna show some pictures of him, and we'll see if he can put some any weight on and if he gets sound. I, I will say that he is looking a lot better. I'm not saying that, I mean, he's, he's okay. He just, uh, I like fat horses. So he need, he can gain some more weight, but we'll see if we can kind of get him to really thicken up and put some meat on his bones too. Some of that will come with exercise and we can start getting him to work and get some muscle. Yeah. Okay, Black had to uh, sit for a little bit while we did some other things, but we are ready to ride now. To ride. So she, um, she's all saddled and ready to go. And I'm going to show you what I would do with her after having some time off and then kind of just preparing and make sure that she's all good to go for a ride outside tomorrow. Okay, one of the first things I like to do, um, something that I like to do with every horse because we do rope a lot and team rope, I'm always swinging ropes around them. And I just kind of like to, you know, get it in uncomfortable places, see how they're going to handle it, uh, scare them a little bit and show them that it's not going to hurt them. And that if they do feel like they're in a bind, they need to be patient and wait for me to get it off of them. She's come a really long ways in a short amount of time. She's getting a little spooked, but overall I thought she was handling the situation really well. She might have got a little bit worked up, but overall she did pretty good. Right here, I rope her again, and she has a really good moment where she gives me a release and she licks her lips. I'm kind of noticing this and seeing that switch flip is a good moment right there.
She did good, and then I swing the rope again and kind of mess around some more and play with her. She's doing a lot better than she used to do, and I'm happy with her progress, so I kind of mess around with her a little bit with that, and then we uh, get ready to start riding. Okay, so right here I'm getting ready to get on, and... Something that Black has done is she likes to move when I get on. Sometimes she'll swing her back in like she just did there or step her front end over. So I have that right rein around the saddle horn on the right side. And when she does that, I pull it and I make her, and I'll also push on her front end and I'll make her move her front end away from me because I don't like how she tries to push into me. That's my personal space and she needs to move off. But there I get on, she stands still, I just kind of pat her, touch in her places, I'll touch her on her back end, I move my feet around, she does good with that. Um, the first thing that I'm going to want to do with her is turn her around in circles. I just want her to know, or at least get the concept that I have her and she can't run off or something because I'm preparing to ride her outside right now. Um, and so I want to make sure that she knows she can't run away. Black is a horse that's more laid back and likes to stop, so that's not something I'm super worried about. But the idea is that that's kind of what I do with most of the colts or young ones or this is the process I take. There I'm kind of waving my hands up in the air and just trying to see if anything is going to unsettle her and if there's anything we need to work on right off the bat. She does really good. She's listening to me. She's come a long ways in a short amount of time. So the one thing that you could downfall her for is that she's a mare and she has a little bit of an attitude at times. You can kind of see she's swished her tail a few times. I'm not wearing my spurs. Um, and something with mares that I find is they will try and they'll do really good for you, but you have to know when to ask for it and know when to not poke anymore. So I'll ask her, when I tell her to move her feet and stuff, I want her to move then, but you also have to make it a fun experience and don't drag things out or make it miserable because they'll remember that and they can have a negative attitudes towards that. So she's doing really good here, you know, keep not swishing the tail so much. Okay, so right here, um, Cisco was getting the steers out, and this one always pushes the gate open and gets out. So I just shut the gate, and then I set the phone up real quick to video it. But Black handled everything well. She didn't spook at that. She doesn't have a spooky attitude at all. But it's kind of fun to switch it up and have something that I don't even know where what it's thinking or where it wants to go. Kind of makes me and Black have to work together more. Because it'll be kind of us working to get the steer places. So it's a good thing to work with Colts to do. And I thought Black handled all this stuff really good.
she did so good. We got to work on moving her feet today and getting her to bend certain ways and even chase some of the cows. So she did really good today. Good girl. Something unique about her too. She's got two swirls right there. Hey, we're all done with Miss Black today. We're gonna get her unsaddled and put her away. And then tomorrow she'll have her first trail ride.